looking at how to use a linear regression on our calculator. My data sets over here, what I've got is the year since the year 2000, so this is 2000, 2001, 2002, etc., up to 2006. And what I have here is the tuition at LBCC in dollars per credit over that period of time. So on my graphing calculator, I'm going to push my stat key and then one for edit and I'm going to put in my data. Now I have some old data in here, so the quick way to clear out the old data is highlight L2, hit clear, and then enter. And then over here, highlight L1 and hit clear and enter. Be sure you're using clear and not delete. So putting in my x values into list 1, I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So again, I'd represent the years 2000 or the year 2006. And then in L2, I'll put in my Y values, my tuition. So $38, $39. Were any of you around when the tuition was this low? Okay, so almost done. And then in the year 2006, tuition was $65. Okay, so I've got my data in here, and it took a minute to double check that both my lists are the same length. I had the same number of values. My first column is in my second column. Okay, let me clear that out of there. And what I need to do next is go into the stat menu again. So I can hit stat, and then I want to go over here to calculate. And what I'm looking for is number four, linear regression. And then I have to execute the commands I press enter. So the default is for the data to be in list 1 and list 2. If it's not, I would have needed to pull the calculator where the data was. Okay, so A is my slope, B is my y-intercept, R squared and R are a measure of how well the data fits the, um, the line that we've come up with. And what we've come up with is an equation for a line. It's a good idea to write it down at this point. And y equals 4.5x plus 35.7, well, let's call it 79, rounding to the nearest penny. And then what I want to do next is graph my data along with that equation. Um, sorry, I forgot to say something. So some of you may not have seen these r squared and r values showing up. If that's the case, what you want to do is go into catalog, second catalog, and scroll down till you get to the diagnostics. It's alphabetical. So okay, there we go. So you want diagnostics on. So if you weren't getting the R and R squared, scroll down to diagnostic on, hit enter, and then hit enter a second time to execute the command. And then when you do the linear regression, you will get those values. We had a pretty good correlation here. The closer it is to one, the stronger the fit the more reliable our equation is. Okay, so getting back to actually graphing this, I'm going to go into y equal, clear out what I've got there, and I'm going to type in my equation. It was 4.5x plus 35.79. And then to graph the data, I need to turn on a stat plot. So now I'm going to hit second y equal to get to the stat plot. Plot 1's turned off, so I hit enter. And then I'm going to highlight the word on, and then it's already set to be a scatter plot with the x values in list 1 and the x values in list 2. If those aren't your defaults, go ahead and change them. Okay, and then one more thing is setting the window. So I could set the window by hand, but there's a nice shortcut you can use if you're graphing data, and that's to go to Zoom, and then scroll down to where it says Zoom Stat. Oops, went by too fast there, didn't I? there. Okay, so it's number 9, zoom stat. I could have just hit 9 and enter. That would have been a little faster. Okay, then it fits the window to fit our data set. These are the original data points. So, let me see here. This would have been the year 2000. Let's hit trace. The year 2000, my tuition, tuition at LBCC was $38. Uh, the year 2001, tuition was $39. And so I'm tracing along the original data points. We can see that because we're on P1, the data points. Now if I press the up arrow, 
we're now tracing along the regression line. So the regression line is our estimate for the tuition at different points in time. So we can see we're not hitting everything exactly. In the year 2005, tuition was $56. And our equation was saying that, well, that's about pretty close to the year 2005. Tuition was around $58. So it's overestimating a little bit here. And then it's going to be underestimating here a little bit. That's the way it is with linear regression. You don't get exact values, but you get a, the overall trend, which is predicting roughly what the tuition would have been. And if we take a minute and jump back here and look at the equation, the 4.5, that's showing our average increase in tuition per year. So on average, we've been going up about $4.50 every year tuition per credit. And 35.79 would be our estimate for the starting value in year zero, which was the year 2000, that the tuition started at about $35.79, which is not what the actual tuition was, of course, in the year 2000. It was $38. But that's their estimate of the overall trend of what's been happening at Lynn Benton over the past few years. Now that we have our data set, we could estimate the tuition in the year 10, 2010, and let's see, so that would be 4.5. Sorry, had a little interruption there. I think we're about done. Now that we have our equation, um, x would be the number of years since the year 2000. Y will be the tu our predicted tuition in dollars per credit. Um, we can then use our equation to make a prediction. If we went in, if we're interested in the year 2010, um, we'd have 4.5 times 10 plus 35. That would give us an estimate of about, what, $80.79 per credit in the year 2010. Whether that's the case, I think we'll find out soon enough.